Well, it's the story of a troubadour uh, named uh, Geoffrey, and of course this is set in the Middle Ages, and uh, he's complaining at the beginning of the opera that he's never met the ideal woman, and he describes uh, in one of his uh, poems uh, the woman that he would uh, fall in love with, and um, a pilgrim, by chance, uh, appears uh, in, in the city and uh, uh, reports to him that he's met this amazing woman who seems to correspond to the description of Geoffrey, even though they are separated by a, a sea, the Mediterranean Sea. I wanted to write an opera about love and death, which is, of course, very banal, uh, because most operas are about love, love and death, but I wanted to uh, do a different kind of story. And when I read then the, the short life story of Geoffrey Rudel, I felt that there is a story for me. It's a kind of simple, but with full of meaning, and uh, I felt that it has a, a lot of place for music also. One of the great challenges to stage this piece, and also a great challenge dramaturgically, is that the sea that separates them is basically the character of the piece. So you have to have water on stage, and the music and, and the subtext of the music is pretty much about the different humors of the sea and how that regulates the score, of course, but the storyline and the uh, psychological background of the, of the story. The challenge of having water on stage has been solved by stretching these uh, very long strips of lead lights. And there's actually 38,000 small lead lights that are all computer programmed uh, to create all these different uh, shimmering effects in different moments of the day, sunrise, dawn. So the whole production is pretty much lit in a way that is uh, quite exciting and quite bewitching. Every object that is brought in, every set piece is made of light basically. And I think people will be very, very moved by the story and, and bewitched by the way it is presented. It's a very poetic piece um, and um, I have the impression that the music will stay with them for quite a long time.